Okay, we're trying to uh, use a drain key to get my rusted out, corroded drain out of there. What we're trying to do is put it in there and expand it. We're using uh Which is more pain in the ass than it seems. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. So we're trying to tighten it in there where it gets enough okay. uh, enough tension against the sides of the thing to be able to wedge it out now. Okay, that's to the right, so I need to go that way. Uh, yeah, or lefty loosey righty tighty. It fucking moved a little while ago. Come on, you big bitch. What a piece of shit. Is it working at all? It fucking moved like a hair and it hasn't moved since. It's almost. So it's like it's not giving enough uh, pressure against the side in there, right? Yeah, I if I, yeah I'm guessing so. Yeah. Alright. Let me check it out. This is what it looks like. I'm repositioning it in there again. You see how you move the big screw and it kind of snakes it down the tube uh, and then it expands out. And that's what's happening inside of your, your drain. And then the thing on top, which is a notch that you have to use with that particular type of wrench right there, that you're turning clockwise. So it creates a real pressure on the inside that allows traction to pull it out, but it has to be very tight in there and as even as possible. And we're actually having some success with it, so I'm going back at it. If we get it out of there, I'm going to be very excited. Break All right, we actually seal. tightened it. Uh, the big nut has to be turned the opposite direction of which way he's pulling, and it actually is loosening it up a little bit. So I'm gonna try to get down there and expand this ring out even more. So we'll try that one more time. That may be why people are failing. They're not getting it in there tight enough. So we're tightening it more from the inside. And now he's going to try to... Yeah. And yeah, this is not easy. No doubt. He's a big strapping boy. You want me to get in there? Not really. I'm fine. But what you're doing is you're creating pressure it's, and it's actually moving and I'm seeing putty. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Shit, we gotta retighten the bitch again. We gotta retighten it again. But it is working and the secret is to expand it from the inside to the outside. So it's gotta be really, really tight in there to create this wedge that's gonna pull it out when you crank it in the opposite direction to unscrew it. So what you're doing is you're counterclockwising the big bolt, and then you're clockwising Something the like smaller thing on the top. All right. So this I think is why people are failing so much. The other thing is you got to get in there as straight as possible, uh, which creates force equally around the outside, which allows you to have the traction to pull it out. So this time we're actually putting it down in there flush. We don't know if that's the right thing to do or not. Oh shit! Fit all the way in there. And we're like feeling like it's working. It's working. It's working. Hallelujah. Holy fuck. Uh, yeah, it's very tight. It's not, you know, yeah, this is definitely a, this is definitely a strong man job here. You know, you're not going to get off easy doing this. Unless you have a torque wrench. How the fuck is it moving the other way? Probably because you're tightening it down. Uh, yeah, lefty loose, ready tight. Unfortunately, we were cranking it the wrong way with this, the thing on top. So <laughs> I think up, we're Lord. supposed to go counterclockwise <laughs> to pull it out of there. So I got, yeah, it gets common mistake. Everybody does this when you're like using electric screwdrivers and stuff. So we're gonna figure out if it's gonna come out this way because we tighten. Move, move your ass. Move your ass. Move your ass. Move your ass. That's right, though. Shouldn't it be going right? And that will loosen it up. I mean, left to the, the loosen up. If you're going left, come to daddy. We're still cranking it, but at least we're cranking it the right way this time. Supposedly. <laughs> Supposedly, yeah. Do your boobs hang on to the bubble. So, you know, I'm a right handed guy. You motherfucker, you better not fuck up on me now. Maybe a little bit more that way. Is it moving to the ring? It is a little bit. 
It is on there. Okay, I think we gotta tighten it up just a little more. Because it's gotta keep that pressure on the inside. Yeah. We got it! We got it! Yay! Yay! It's working, but there's a lot of tightening up, a lot of straightening out, there's a lot of doing it the wrong way, like everybody's gonna do. But hey, we are one of the first people to show you an actual drain key really working. Lovely. And then we will show you how to replace this drain when we're done with all this. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Of course, this is a $60 drain key too, you realize. See, out, 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 damn spot. Out. And there it is, looking nasty as I'll get out. We gotta replace all that putty and stuff. Okay, good. Okay, I wanted to film this for you to show you. See, this is the bottom of the drain. And you see how that ring expanded out? So that you could get the torque to pull the drain out where it's broken. This is only if your uh, crosshairs are broken, which is the case of my, mine was like really old. And when I took the drain out to remove it and put the new one in, it uh, was all broken. So there you have it. We're gonna put putty around the exterior of the new one. We'll show you how to do that. And we're gonna put the new one back in. Groovy. By the way, the drain key is now stuck inside the drain. We gotta get that out. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna encounter this one too. <laughs> this is how it works. The top part is a push button that pushes down into the tub with your foot. Now this is a particular type I'm installing. Okay, and then it pops back up. Then that piece screws into this piece right here. And then this is gonna screw down into that hole where we just took the drain out. We're gonna put plumber's putty along the edge right here. And I don't know, should this be under the plumber's putty? Mm -hmm. No, it should be on top. So you just put the plumber's putty That's on. That's the sealer. Yeah, so I guess you put the plumber's putty around that uh, washer. And then you squash it down in there and it makes the a nice little seal. The plumber's putty you had was right here. Yeah, it's a different kind of drain though. All right. All right, so we put some putty underneath there. We screwed the drain into the hole. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. All right, he's screwing with his finger. We'll tighten it up with some, uh, you know, the backhand of a pair of pliers that you stick down in there and wedge it. Get it in there nice and tight. If your drain wasn't made up. I'm using the same uh, key that I used on the kitchen. It has these little notches in it that fits down into the grooves of the crosshairs to tighten it on there. And that's working very beautifully. We also have a crossbar that gives you the extra leverage for it. They do have ratchet sets that have this attachment to them as well, you know. But uh, we're not using that. We're going old fashioned. Cleaning up the extra putty around the edge so it makes a nice good seal there. kind of insulting when you're really And this is the key that you use. See how it has the notches in the top. I use this to remove the sink basket in the kitchen. It's been a worthwhile investment, 10 bucks. It saved me a lot of frustration. Okay, and then the drain key, which is wedged in here. I went ahead and went top of the line and I bought it for about 56 bucks, but it was that's definitely- That's how much it cost anyway. Yeah, that's what it was worth, you know. But this is the round one. They have some that have like a spike thing kind of in the end there with phrase out. Uh, the guy at Ace Hardware told me this was definitely the one that works better. Okay, there you go. Groovy, groovy, grooviness. I'm taking a bath tonight. All right, I'll have to look at that. We're looking at the drain that we put on. This what drains the water if your bathtub fills over too much. And we have it on there, but we have to make sure that the uh, notches that let the water seep out down the drain are actually in the right place. So the water, we run a little bit. It's pooling around the edge, which means it's not leaking down underneath it, which is a good sign. <laughs> Hello. 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 Okay, you're tired of that game, huh? <laughs> like the little stopper stops down and everything is yeah. all right? Okay, cool. We did a good job. Now this weekend, we're going to take these. We're having a leak around the, um, these. And we're going to replace this. And I'll do a video of that as well. Thank you, Jacob. Uh -huh. My redneck plumber. Mm. Redneck. And that's what it looks like when it's done. We clean the tub a little bit to make it look pretty. My new drain. Lovely. Oh, the lovely sound of that air.